Hey everybody, JB here. Welcome to the shed. I haven't had any uh, unction from the Holy Spirit to make uh, any messages in quite a while. And I've been inspired to bring a short message uh, this evening. And the catalyst for this message was a video that I saw last night uh, where the author of this video stated um, there is no rapture and rapture's not in the Bible. So I've, I've seen it before and I want to preface my message by saying this. As I believe I've said this before, I've seen so-called ministry leaders, and th these are phonies, okay? These are entrepreneurs. These are people that are using the Bible and God's Word to lace their own pockets and make millions of dollars. And I've seen the biggest, the ones who, who have parking lots that are acres and acres. They have thousands of people coming to their Sunday worship. They have hundreds of thousands of followers on the internet. And I've seen their videos and heard them state that there is no rapture, rapture is not in the Bible. So this isn't something that's new. This isn't a deception that is just now happening. This, this has been going on <clears throat> since the first century, since the epistles and the gospels were penned by their true authors. Satan has always been working against the Word of God. So what is my message tonight? Well, I felt inspired uh, to make a message in regard to the fact that the rapture is in the Bible. And the way I want to present it is not as a Bible teacher, because I'm not a Bible teacher, but I want to present it in truth and I want you to be able to, if you are born of the Spirit and the Spirit inhabits you, then you're going to look at the Word of God and you're going to see that this, this rapture is clearly taught, even though the English word rapture is not in the Bible. The Latin word, uh, rapimur, uh, that uh, is in First uh, Thessalonians, or is it Second? First or Second Thessalonians four seventeen, First Thessalonians four seventeen, and uh, why do I draw your attention to this? Well, because these men that teach this uh, deception are arrogant, and uh, they're very arrogant, and and to the point that. They almost uh, speak as if only an idiot would think that there's a rapture. And this is how we see uh, this new world order presenting itself. And, and I only make mention of that because probably everyone is seeing this. This isn't in America. This is all over the world. This is Australia. This is Europe. This is... Uh, you know, in other nations, this, this spirit of, of Antichrist is rising up and it's powerful. And I make this point because of this. They have no truth on their side. They don't have an argument that, that they can stand with you and say, well, see, our side believes this and we're going to do this and that. And then things are going and it's going to be a better world. The thing that they do have is an arrogance and an, and a hate. And they will usually start off by categorizing you as an idiot if you're uh, a conservative, as an example. I'm just using that as an example. They won't go into elaborate reasons. They will just label you as an idiot and, it, and, and it's not going to go anywhere. And it is the exact same spirit that is working in these men that say there is no rapture. Rapture isn't even in the Bible. Rap the rapture is in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. 
and I'm I don't I don't have but a few minutes I'm not here to teach that what I'm here to teach you is the truth and that is this the canon of scripture was not penned in English and these men are so arrogant in stating that well rapture is not in the Bible and they've never spoke any other language but English and they're very arrogant to the point that they probably in their mind believe that the Bible is in English the Bible wasn't penned in English Jesus Christ never spoke a word of English neither did anyone else in the first century they spoke Greek and Hebrew and Latin therefore the Bible was penned in Greek Hebrew Latin and Aramaic they say Aramaic but the Bible was not written in English so if you dismiss the whole idea of the rapture because if you enter in and do a word search and your Bible doesn't contain the word rapture you've missed the whole idea and so what I do and uh, what I'm gonna say in closing is this let's not call it the rapture anymore the rapture is just the title that we've given to the end of the dispensation of of grace and mercy the rapture will end the church age there will be no more church on earth there will only be according to Revelation people who worship the beast the church will be withdrawn and they will be in heaven when God pours out his wrath we call that the rapture but we could just as easily call it the snatching away what if we call it the rescue let's call it salvation because it will be anybody left behind is going to be introduced to terror in in such a form that the planet has never seen it before it says in fact that men's hearts are gonna fail them from fear they're just gonna die these things are that are coming well what well the Bible says we're, we're not appointed to wrath we're not gonna be here and that's the truth so let's call it the rescue operation of Jesus Christ don't call it the rapture then read your Bible read your start in the New Testament and read it from Matthew to Revelation and see if you don't find that it is it is woven into scripture it there is going to be a rescue operation Jesus Christ is not going to save us and then pour his spirit into us and then sanctify us and live inside us and leave us here so that he can pour out his wrath on himself uh, he says that's impossible he can't do that and he's not going to so to these arrogant men who call themselves uh, ministry leaders or any anybody who makes a you know a video and 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 they're going to dismiss the whole thing because they'll say well the rapture is not even in the Bible so it's just utter nonsense and let's move on to really important things like why church attendance is down and no one's coming to Wednesday night Bible study and and they're obviously not Christians or they're, they're gonna burn in hell and 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 these are the ideas of religion and we know what religion is religion is yeast and we're warned about it by our Savior Jesus Christ when he tells us to beware of it and that's what they have they have yeast and they are inflated with their own ideas and so when it comes to the rapture and as I stated and I'm closing now this is the end I've seen it before even by the big name you know rock star ministry leaders who 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 rake in you know tens of thousands of dollars a day from people just sent writing them checks and and buying their salvation and believing that they're good people because uh, they support these ministries I've seen them even uh, many of the big names say uh, well they the rapture is not in the Bible and then they want to move on that's what the devil wants to do he just wants you to just to not see it 
not have any light, not have any oil in your lamp, not have in the oil is a spirit. The spirit of God dwelling in you tells us that every time we see it, we know that it's true. We know he's going to remove his church. We know that we're going to be caught up in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. It's going to happen like that. And then, and then everything's going to change because the restrainer is going to be removed from the planet earth and we're seeing it today people are coming unraveled there's shootings everywhere and people have no uh natural affections for each for one another anymore they're just full of hate and this is this is the cauldron the boiling uh cauldron and satan is getting this all going under his power as is prophesied and in the meantime we, we who are ready are looking to our our savior he's he's going to come he's going to remove us and then all holy hell is going to break loose and we've always called it the rapture if they don't like the term rapture let's call it a jesus christ rescue operation no matter what you call it in english it is our great hope in jesus christ's name amen